Hey guys, uh, this is gonna be like, yeah, this will probably be like part six. Um, hey guys, uh, this is gonna be like, yeah, this will probably be like part six. Um, hello guys, Strollface the Man here, and today what I am here to teach you is how to remove some static from your videos. Now, static can be quite a pesky thing, playing in the background and stuff, and it could ruin a video, but not. With this simple technique, we're going to go and get your videos back up and running again, static free. Now, we end up recording this amnesia series, me and the Rouge Knight, and this is episode 5, and what happens though is if I play it here, Hey guys, uh, this You can is... hear underneath his voice just this constant shh. We gotta yeah. blow up some boulders to find the stuff. <laughs> just this static. Which is completely stupid. Yeah. But, uh, so, yeah. So what we need to do is we need to remove this static. And I'm actually removing this so that way I can go ahead and post up this video later too. So, But <clears throat> how do we do this? Alright, well the first thing we're going to need to do is we're going to need to convert these video files into an audio only file. Now you can skip this step if you go ahead and you don't have a multi-part video. But this video has multiple parts. It's comprised of like six different videos. So I'm going to have to make it a single video first. Now you could just export it whatever quality you want. However, what I'm going to do for this is I'm actually going to go ahead and I'm going to export it in the lowest possible quality with, while keeping the audio uh, really high, high quality. So that way for time's sake, because if I process it like high definition, it's going to go and it's going to take like an hour versus, you know, like five minutes for a lower custom setting. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to hit create custom setting. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to turn. I'm going to select some really small, like uh, for email, it'll probably be the smallest one here. No. Um, so you see it's 320 pixels by 240 pixels. You know, it reduced the audio quality. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go up here. I'm going to increase the audio quality again. And I'm going to put this, uh, I don't know, audio sentence. Then you go ahead and save it. Now what this is going to do is going to create a low video quality, but a high audio quality to it. So I already have one here, though. I'm going to save that. And what's going to happen is when I go to export this video now, I'm going to hit save movie. I'm going to go down here to my custom setting right here, audio. And I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to select that. Now, I got a folder out here on the desktop. This is part five. I'm just going to save it right in the folder here. Shouldn't have saved it as my movie. Should have saved it as audio. But what this does, once again, I'm putting very low video quality. You don't have to do this. This is just for time's sake. Once again, if you have a single part video too that has static to it, you can skip this step altogether. I'm just making this one continuous video. So you guys don't need to do this. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to let this process and I'm going to check back in in a minute as soon as it's done. All right, guys. So now that that went ahead and finishing processing, don't need this. Um, I have the movie right here. And as you hey can see, guys, it's been uh, made really small, this is gonna be it's like, very poor quality, but that's yeah, alright, we're not using like... this video. What I'm going to do is you're going to go and you're going to need a program like uh, <clears throat> an online video converter. What I end up going ahead and I end up using is uh, RealPlayer. Any kind of video conversion software will work perfectly fine, so you can use it online. I just use RealPlayer, it's very convenient. So you're going to open this up or export it or import it to whatever video hey guys, uh, uh, converter you want. I got this right here, I'm just going to go ahead and I'm going to convert it over to now make sure it's a wave file wav mp3 files seem to mess up they shorten which will mess up all your video audio this one will make sure it stays perfectly the same so i'm going to start that should go to the same directory as original as you can see right here don't need this open now all i need to do is just wait for this to finish converting over into just a audio file now this is a good time to point out you're going to need audacity this is a free program 100 percent free it's not a trial it's not nothing like that it's an awesome audio program if you go ahead and use any kind of audio stuff you should definitely have it uh once again it's it's i'll post the link below it's free open source it's it's not like pay or whatever you know it's run off donations so Definitely go ahead and make sure you have that because we are going to need that in order to go ahead and remove the static. All right, guys, so that's been completely converted into a .wav, W-A-V file. And if I listen to it, it just, it's just like the Hey, guys, uh, no video this, this time. is going to be like... Still has the static, the disgusting static. So what I'm going to do is I have the Audacity now. I don't actually need that open. What I'm going to do is I'm going to right-click on it, open with Audacity, or you can open the Audacity and then import it, right? So this will take a second, and what I usually do is when it asks me if I want to use the same, I just 
read it directly from the source. I mean, uh, there's no real point in making a copy. You'll get this little thing here for a minute. Uh, I'll just take a second to finish importing. Um, but what you're going to do is you're going to take it. You're going to use your scroll wheel. You can you know, and use your touchpad or whatever. Just zoom in here. Get it to a comfortable distance where you can see these uh, bumps right here. And what these are is these are like someone sections where people talk like right here or like this now i do apologize you're going to be hearing the actual audio from my computer through the headset these are sections guys, where people uh, go ahead and talk be... but for some reason fraps will not record audacity while it's playing um <clears throat> the same concept applies so what i'm going to do is i'm going to go ahead and i'm going to look for a section that doesn't have any of this like bumped up here this is talking i'm going to highlight it like this right here i'm going to listen to it What I got there is I got pure static. There's no talking in it, nothing like that. And that's exactly what I go ahead and I want. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to Effects. I'm going to go to Noise Removal. I'm going to hit this right here. You notice that these things can't be selected right now. It's called Get Noise Profile. What it's doing is it's getting the noise profile of whatever I have highlighted, which would be this static right here. So I'm going to Get Noise Profile. It's going to disappear. Don't panic. Uh, go to Edit. <clears throat> Select All. And then go ahead and go back to the noise profile again. Or not the noise profile, the noise removal tool again. Just right down here. And now you can see that this right here is selected. You shouldn't have to play for all, with all these settings. You can if you want to, but, uh, you know, it's just you don't really have to. And then you just hit OK. It'll take a minute here to get done. And as soon as this is over with, you will see, boom. <clears throat> all these sections with the static like right here go ahead and completely flatten out there's like absolutely no sound there now it, it's it's all calm this section right here hey guys, uh, this is there's no static once again though you're listening through my headset so you won't be able to hear it so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna export the file um, I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna save it as the audio right here and I'm going to play it that way so that way you guys can actually hear the static because uh, you can't really hear it through my headset right now because of, uh, I don't know why Fraps doesn't like recording Audacity for some reason. But uh, you'll see right here. And... Done. Alright, so you can exit out of that, but I'm not going to. What this is right here is this is the audio. The same file we just ended up going ahead and saving. So we play that. Hey guys, uh, this is gonna be very my... clean and crisp sound. Here's the original audio. Hey guys, uh, has that nasty this is gonna static be like... to it. Yeah, this will probably so be like you guys can sick. definitely see the difference. Now it's gonna be different depending on whatever you know thing you end up going ahead and using. But I'm using the Windows Movie Maker, so all I need to do with this is I need to. I'm just gonna drag this up over here. I'm just gonna add music, as they call it. It's gonna be add music even though if it's not really adding music it's just going to be um a narration more or less it's just going to overlap the original video now if i go ahead and play it now hey guys uh you'll hear it sounds very like, like echoey yeah, like, like tunnel -y. that's because there's two sounds that are the same frequency overlapping each other it kind of goes ahead and makes for a weird thing so i'm just going to go over to my video tools i'm going to go to video volume and i'm going to turn down the video volume all the way so now when I go ahead and play, um, we figured out what we had to do. We came back there down we go. here to the, a video completely the without any I static. This one. You got to make sure you go ahead and mute the video. I'm going to have to do this with several sections because I have a several section video here. So it's going to have to make sure all these sections have the volume muted. But you can go ahead and you can hear the difference. There's no more static. It's very nice, very clear. This way you guys just don't have to disregard, you know, or discard, <clears throat> not disregard, discard your you know perfect video shoots i mean it sucks i was looking for this one of my videos had echo to it unfortunately you can't remove echo like you can static and uh you know it just kind of messed up the whole video but at least you guys know of a system now to go ahead and to get rid of this echo and then after you go ahead and you finish doing all of this you make sure that you uh Mute the video, you have the overlapping sound, which will be the original audio. So even though, like down here, if I go ahead and play. Do you go left? Uh, I think he went Can straight. I need to go left? Yeah, I think he went straight. With the no static at all. 
And then you just export this like the normal video. You just save it. You, it's that simple. You just go ahead and you save it now. Uh, this will be your movie. Uh, part 5 for Amnesia. You save it and you're done. Now the movie, just as long as you make sure you mute the original thing, you have the overlapping audio, which is your fixed audio. The movie's perfectly fine. Everything's lined up. You're, you're, it's going to sound great. It's going to be perfect. Um, now if you guys want to go ahead and you want to see this video... I'm going to put a link in the description below. You want to see this amnesia video I was working on and see how the final product came out versus the original one. Just go ahead and click on the link. Check it out, guys. Actually, the amnesia series is pretty fun. If you guys enjoy this video, please remember to comment, rate, and subscribe. Definitely go ahead and like the video. Uh, if you go and you, you know, if it helped you out, because the more likes we get, the more comments we get, the more it goes ahead and gets popularity and the more it can go ahead and help other people struggling with the same problem. Anyways, guys, thanks for watching and Bye.